Alexander Volkov, Drago versus Marcin Tybura. There was a moment in that fight, AJ, where I'm like, oh, Tybura might pull the upset, dude. Like, Volkov is getting tired. He's putting his foot off of the gas. Um, but he's a patient guy. You know, he's he got a pretty slow rhythm to his fight style. And this wasn't the best performance from an Alexander Volkov we've seen in quite some time. I thought this was a little lackluster, man. What did you think about this performance right here? Um, are you expecting more out of Volkov? Is Tybura just that tough of an outing? What are we thinking? I think uh, even Volkov was expecting a little more out of himself. He came out hot. He came out heated, yeah. throwing big shots. But Tybura has a chin, man. And Tybura's game plan, we've seen with the rest of his, I think it was the last three, um, who is it? Um, Walt Harris, all the, all the other fighters where he, you know, he, he's down to take some cracks to his chin, yeah. but he's going to let you get tired. And I think that was his game plan going into this again, where Volkov was literally just throwing heat from the jump, started getting real tired, and then thought to himself, oh, no. Like, I'm going to gas out. I need to slow down. And that's when Tybura was able to start to have his chances. Really good de defensive wrestling from Volkov. Both of them really seemed to be a little bit labored going into the second and the third rounds. But Tybura was still snapping the head back of Volkov. It was pretty impressive. Um, even going into the third, both very tired, but still stayed in kind of that chess match sort of style. Tybura stayed walking forward the entire time. Volkov with the counter shots. It's always crazy to see when the guy that's a lot taller and has the range just continues to stay back and maintain that range instead of go forward and try to maintain it that way. But yeah. when you got a bulldog like Tybura coming at you, it's uh, it's pretty hard, man. It was a good fight either way, though, but they did get pretty tired. What do you think? Well, I'll say it's one of the more frustrating things about being an Alexander Volkov fan is he doesn't use his reach that well all the time. He falls into that Stefan Struve pattern of being this super tall guy with super long reach but wants to fight inside, wants to fight close, wants to, like, lets people get in his grill. And, like, that's the thing. You have such these long arms, dude, 80-inch reach. Just stick that jab out there, bro. Like, what are we doing, you know? And that was the thing that was troubling to me because I said it. Uh, we found out, I mean, Cyril Gaon really exposed it, but if you can keep Volkov on the back foot, he's the least dangerous he can be if he's just sitting there trying to counter strike from the back foot, right? He'll still land some good shots on you. He'll still land some good shots on you coming in. Don't get me wrong, um, but he's not nearly as effective or as powerful off of that back foot. So I just thought that this was a little lackluster, and I thought that uh, if he if his goal is to get a title fight, this didn't really do much for you. You know what I mean? It's a win. But you beat a dude who's behind you in the rankings. Decision win that was kind of close, like a 29-28 type decision win. Three and two in your last five. Moves to eight and three in the UFC. We need to see the knockouts. We need to go back to the knockouts of Alexander Volkov, the dangerous Drago. We need to see that guy if you want to sit there and be like, I'm going to be fighting for a heavyweight title soon, man. Because uh, he's in the mix, but he's in that limbo spot, kind of. You know what I mean? It's a little weird. But all right, man. Move on to the next one.